Hello, this is Coach Charles Martinez from the Arena, and this is your tip of the week. This week we're going to be discussing the use of focus mitts. Now, focus mitts have lots of, lots of benefits. They could also have lots of detriments depending on how you use them. Right, focus mitts are designed for accuracy. You can build proper body mechanics, proper responses, proper condition responses to strikes, but they're often done badly. First and foremost, right, the mitts should never be this far apart. Right, this is just two people standing near each other you're trying to hit. Right, so when I hold focus mitts for a person, the first mitt stays out, second mitt staggers back so they can touch with the first one, rotate with the second one. Right, so this reinforces the proper range, proper mechanics. Right? So if he just throws one, two, and I stagger the mitts this way, he's forced to rotate to reach the second mitt. What you commonly see is this. I don't know why I'm hitting so hard, but very common. Also, it shortens his right hand and teaches him the wrong range, makes him flare his elbow out, doesn't let him rotate his body to extension. Right. So very common mistake, open and hit, wrong. All right, so if I stagger, I still wanna give resistance so he gets the satisfaction of hitting into the target instead of getting jammed, but I want him to make sure he rotates. All right, and then all the complex combinations you see on pads are just a combination of simple things put together. All right, so I let him throw the one, two. I let him have success. I make him rotate. All right, then I check him. I make him get his body weight back. I made him bring his hand right back to his face, right? One, two. I don't do it every time because it, for, he gets used to it. Yep. And then we start to pick up speed. There's a big difference between one, two, one, two, and one, two. See? If I start to travel, then he has to start traveling, right? So one here, right in range, that means he was able to hit his opponent without ever having to cover any distance. That's fine if we're working the mechanics of rotating the hips from one punch to the other. The reality is most people move when you try and strike at them. So this is great for learning the mechanics of the punches, but occasionally you're gonna have to give them one, two, and then you're gonna have to give them so that they learn when they need to travel their feet to get to the target. All right, but first you should be reinforcing proper mechanics, All right, one, two, then proper mechanics and forcing them back to their fighting stance. Then you can start stacking the combinations to make them better, like one, two, slip. Good. One, two, slip two. Good. One, two, slip two. Add a hook. Again. Add a slip. All right. Easy. All right. That's your tip of the week.